When Yuri asked me if I would like to attend this campaigning summit, I said spontaneously yes, due to, or for two reasons, actually. First of all, WWF is an organization in Germany. It's not the World Wrestling Foundation, by the way. It's, an, it's the Nature and Environmental Panda organization. And um, we are financially supported by around 475,000 supporters. And we, are all, and we also have in our communities, in our digital communities, more than half a million people who are engaged with WWF. And so I, I really like the idea of this summit to exchange ideas with all of you and to share experiences. And secondly, I thought it could be interesting for all of you, and um, I also know I don't present anything new for you, but I can present something like we learned or something we experienced with our campaigns because we are a campaigning organization. And I think it's interesting because at the moment we are running a campaign, hashtag I am nature, which is different to the campaigns we usually do. There's a hidden secret at WWF Germany, a fur and two eyes, and donations and awareness will rise. So it means we need always a species, an animal, like a tiger, like a lion, like an elephant. No, not an elephant, it's not with fur, it's difficult, but elephant also works. And you directly see what about oceans campaigning. That's difficult, like with, by the, with this hidden uh, rule at WWF. Anyway, with I Am Nature, we try to put somebody else in, in the focus of our campaigning, and that's all of us, that's you. And here we just made some, I think, interesting um, experiences, and that these experiences I would like to share with all of you. And so I said yes, and um, let me start um, directly with, 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 with learnings and with, with a bit of um, yeah, how we concept, how we plan this kind of campaign. First of all, you need to raise attention, awareness. Next. Here we go. How? How can, how can you do that? Some figures we, you might have heard about, but you, you, you have to know. There is um, information overload from social media on an, average, on an average user, which is about 54K, 54,000 words of text. This is almost a length of a novel. And almost seven hours of video a day like all of you, or, 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 or like that is like that is, that's the overload, and on an average user on the on social media channels, which means you really have to think about how to get the head upon water so that people might see you, might get the information or the the um, the, the thing you want to to, to have. And there is another fact and another and another um, another figure. Our attention span is only eight seconds on a, normal, on a normal tablet. On mobile phones, only three seconds, which means we really have to bring a message, which is quite challenging for WWF, which is a science-based organization with really complex matters and complex issues, to bring it on eight or three seconds. And just an example why I put this species, because I, I, I forgot to tell. This is also an, a, 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 like a, a presentation, which is unique, because I only show one species without a fur, and this is this goldfish, because the average attention span of a goldfish is nine seconds. What does that tell us? I don't know. It's just an interesting figure, I think. And, um, but there is one chance nine seconds, three seconds on a mobile phone, there's one chance we could use as a campaigning organization or as a company or whatever. There are more than 
This is normal. There are more than um, 150 possibilities to come in touch with our people, with our supporters. 150 times a day, people are checking their smartphones. I heard about a study of somebody, I, I forgot the name at the moment, who said using your mo mobile phone has the same trig triggering effect like cocaine. So people are like, they, 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 they are, there are studies which like, like always to be on your mobile phone is, it, 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 um, you, you will have this kind of uh, uh, Glücksgefühle um, um, which you only have when you, when you, when you use cocaine. People told me, I don't know, I have no experience at all. So, this is our chance. We can to, we can to come in touch with our, with our supporters more than once a day. How could we do this? How could we raise attention? Our learnings are... You need to be very focused, very simple with your message. You need to be entertaining and funny. This is, I think, especially for Germans, also challenging. In the UK, it's different, but to be really entertaining and funny, it's not easy for us. And like, if you, it, I think it's a, it's a, it's a good thing if you are facing that thing, and um, because it, 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 I think it wouldn't work any, any, it wouldn't really work anymore if you try to, yeah, to force it. Like when you are not funny, then let it. But it, it, it helps you um, when you want to. Um, get people on your trip or on your on your issue. You should be surprising and unexpected, emotional and urgent. Urgent is for us as a nature and environmental organization always a very important factor when we can say something is really breaking down, when something is really going in the wrong direction and it's really urgent that you help, then we can get supporters on our side. That's, that brings me to um, my number two learning, target your audience. I think Andreas also uh, said it, you really have to have an idea which audience, which people you are targeting. And uh, you shouldn't forget who your customer is. We work, and um, this is maybe quite interesting, we work with this kind of sinus It sounds very technical, and I... To be honest, I may admit, it help, or the, 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 the help of these kind of target audiences is limited, but it helps you to think about who, which kind of audience you really want to target. It helps you. It's not the secret of success, but it helps you how to target. With our campaign, I'm Nature, we, um, um, we, tried, to, um, we tried to target the high achiever milieu, the social ecological milieu, the adaptive pragmatist milieu, and the movers and shakers milieu. Maybe all of you want to target these, these groups, these milieus. Um, if there are questions, um, which kind of people are behind that, I, 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 have, the, I have it in English, the, 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 the descriptions, I have it, beggars, you can ask me. I'm, I'm not, I, 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 I cannot tell you exactly now in English like which kind of people uh, are behind these uh, milieus, but these are for sure open-minded, uh, good, ed well-educated people, and um, for us very in interesting, could they support our work or not? And um, to come to our campaign and to show you that as an example, what are the goals we want to reach with I Am Nature. We want to give examples for sustainable behavior because we think it is always a question to show you, to show somebody what I'm thinking about and to give you options. Not to tell you, hey, please, on Friday is veggie day and you are not allowed to eat any meat. That doesn't work. The Green Party has faced it in the last election, I think, brutally, that it doesn't work when we want to set up a kind of eco-dictatorship. That doesn't work. It won't work, and therefore, we need to, um, we need to, we need to persuade, in a way, um, our, our people in a, in a way that we motivate them, that we, can, that we tell them it could work if you are eating 
for example, with veggies more than meat, and if you could try and taste tofu. You know, before I worked for WWF, I never ate, I never ate tofu. Since I worked there, I came in touch with it, and it tastes. Not everything tastes, and I'm not a vegetarian at all. I, I like to eat meat also, but I really eat it more confidentially. And uh, there was a, or there is a saying, a wording in Germany, which was like 20, 30 years ago, the Sonntagsbraten, that means on Sunday you eat meat. That would be, from our, from our ecological point of view, would be a good thing. How can we do that? By showing, by telling people, hey, look here, there is a nice thing which really tastes and which is not meat at all. Rügenwalder, a sausage company, is doing their campaign at the moment with a vegan, is it the word vegan, vegan, or vegan, with a vegan sausage. A vegan sausage. You have really to think about it. So market, market shares are rising there, and it is all about, yeah, it's not entertaining, it's all about people to motivate by saying, hey, it could, it could taste, it's fine. And um, we want uh, advice with that campaign, how to avoid food waste. Food waste is one big factor, one huge thing we really uh, should think about. Um, and with every campaign um, of WWF, we want to influence politicians. That is also the thing. We also have figures we want to we wanna achieve, 400 million contacts, 100,000 activities. Just to get you in the uh, in our campaign, I would like to show you our campaigning video, which I would like if you could share it uh, when you have seen it um, via your Twitter accounts or something, because we still are on the campaign and we like and we would love to get any support, which is uh, any support possible. So, mal gucken, ob das jetzt klappt. Here we are. We need sound, please. <coughs> Ich bin nicht der verpasste Anruf meines Chefs. Ich bin nicht die Anzahl der ungelesenen E-Mails in meinem Postfach. Ich bin nicht meine To-Do-Liste. Ich bin nicht die Likes auf meinem Facebook-Profil. Ich bin nicht das Fastfood in meiner Mittagspause. Ich bin, ich bin das Laub in meinen Haaren. Ich bin das Gras unter meinen Füßen. Der Wind, der durch die Bäume weht. Ich bin das Wasser, das durch die Steine rinnt. Die Erde in meinen Händen. Ich bin die Sehnsucht, die nicht mehr warten kann. So that is, the, that is the campaign video, our starting, our introducing video. No, you, you will have seen it, no animal, no species at all. It's a, but it just worked quite good. We are very happy uh, so far um, with the results. I just get on, uh, come, come up to the figures. But uh, uh, one, um, one more thought um, when we are creating this kind of campaign. You all have heard about the, the notion content is king. We all know, and what I thought, which, which is which is really uh, interesting, is an amendment Shaul Albert from Playbus did. He said, "Content is king, and format is palace." What that, what uh, does he mean? Uh, what, 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 what did he mean with that uh, notion? He said, "We need to find format. We need to find." Um, stories and, uh, and uh, options like how we can tell our story. And uh, Shaul Albert is um, the founder of Playbus. They are doing their business with quiz, with quizzes. So they put any content they have in, in, in a quiz form and are very, very successful with um, uh, this, uh, with this uh, um, form, with this format. So we also try to uh, bring um, our content in formats which you can share, huh, that's, that you all know you need to have content which is shareable, you need to find uh, uh, some uh, well-known uh, 
characters. This is for our English-speaking uh, guests here. This is a uh, this is a very famous TV actor, um, um, and so we tried to um, to bring our information about the campaign, about food waste and how to avoid that, etc., etc. Et we tried to. Uh, uh, bring it as shareable as possible, and um, uh, that worked so far also quite well. On our website, which unfortunately I cannot scroll, I cannot show you here, but maybe you try to find it out on your, on your own, um, we, have three, um, we have three thoughts and three points which, which, we, tried to, uh, which we tried to realize. It's, we, we need a kind of gamification thing. There will be a kind of quiz, so you, you've been asked what kind of person you are, are you a meat eater, very often meat eater, or are you a veggie, a vegetarian, whatsoever, and then you, you have to answer three questions, and then we give you an, an option what you could do, what you could, Im how you could improve your behavior. It's only, it's, a, it's, an, it's, it's not an, you have to do, it's only, you can do this, try, it, figure, try and figure out, Register on our site, and um, um, we give you some tips, some advice, some recommendations. That is what, what we try to. We have also, you, <coughs> you see it a bit, we have, but this is, I think, standard, uh, uh, like today, we have a um, community feed box, and we have just very normal, very, uh, uh, like, nothing, uh, nothing special. We have content teaser also. Number four, and I only have five, so we are, we are, we are, we are almost at the end. Number four is, um, and that I think also Andreas and um, uh, Philip said, you need to tell a story when you want to, to achieve people. It's all about storytelling, and um, we want stories um, that readers spend more time with and share more. That is our aim with all our campaigns. And um, when we thought how we can, how we can, or which kind of story could we tell now to help, to support people when they want to try to change their behaviors, we thought <clears throat> about two guys, two urban guys, Vio and what is the, the name of the, my, my companion Dali is here, what, what is his name again? I forgot, I think. Um, Cornelius. Cornelius and Vio, two very urban, stylish, not really hipster, but in the way, urban people, and we sent them to an eco farm, and there they were ch facing challenges. And uh, by 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 showing like how they interact with the eco farm, etc., we we tried to give recommendations and we tried to open the eyes of, of, of the of the viewers for our for our suggestion. I just show you thirty seconds. Ich liebe es, viel zu essen und ich liebe auch Fleisch, muss ich ehrlich sagen. Und sehr viel auch Ungesundes. Bis jetzt, wie gesagt, habe ich mir gar keine Gedanken gemacht, was ich da esse. Alles, was geschmeckt hat, war okay. Also ich erhoffe mir von dem Experiment, dass ich mehr über Fleisch informiert werde und dass ich auch lerne, das gute Fleisch von dem schlechten Fleisch zu unterscheiden. Weil bis jetzt war das wirklich so ein bisschen Selbstbelügen, dass ich nicht wirklich äh, darauf geachtet habe. Ernährung ist für mich schon sehr wichtig grundsätzlich. Ich bin eigentlich ähm, relativ äh, offen für alles, also sehr gern Fleisch auf jeden Fall auch, gerade in Berlin. Due to the time, just like for you to know, like what we think when, when you, when you want to tell a story, you have, you, you, you have to have a beginning, an middle and an end, and it's almost good to, if, you have an, if you have a hero or a character with, who, who you may follow through that story. And that we tried with these two guys, and we, 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 we started, I think it's a series of, of five videos, actually. At the moment, we are, at, we are with the second video, where they really are at the, on the farm and are, are working very hard there. Last point, last uh, learning is, um, 
and like I think in every in every presentation we, we will we will see today is always like you see masses of people. This is because I'm a soccer fan. Uh, um, um, I, 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 I choose that, that picture. You know, you are not alone, and you find you have to find partners and supporters if you want to get shared your content, to get shared your message. And we tried, and uh, we thought, how can we engage younger people? And um, we thought it is all about when you want to get younger people on board of your campaign, it's all about YouTube, and it's all about the YouTube rock stars. And so we scanned the, the rankings, and we found our YouTube ambassador, this is Simon or Simon Unge. He got more than a million regist regist registered uh, fans um, on his channel. And he is a vegetarian. He lives in a very sustainable way. So he is a kind of, credi kind of credible um, ambassador for us. And when he retweeted the link, hey, we have opened, uh, we, we started our campaign, uh, retweet the video, you see it directly, it works. It directly really, the, the, the numbers raised and like our reach um, dramatically uh, 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 like went up. So it, 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 was, it was for us very unexpected, but it really works. So find partners, try to find people who could in your target group, in your audience, you could be multisipulators, influencers, so that you get your message um, um, so that you get your message uh, uh, spread. To sum it up at the moment, like we, are, we have more than 5 million contacts already on YouTube, more than 50,000 views on our video, which is for a small um, organization like WWS, a good, a good uh, figure. On Facebook, we have more than 200,000 views, and we have so far more than 40,000 activities. And if you like I'm Nature, join our campaign. This is the, advi this is the advertisement block. And um, the top five learnings to sum it up again is you need to raise attention. You need to target your audience, create content which, your or which, is, uh, which is relevant for your audience. Try to develop format or think in formats. Uh, don't forget to tell a story and find partners because alone you are nobody and in a group of uh, more than or in a mass you are, you can reach and achieve anything you want to. Um, thank you very much for your attention.